Welcome to the video. This is a very, very quick tip to just show you how I make some of the plane hangers that I'm using to store some of the planes here. Now, this is something that's very cheap and cheerful to make. It uses a pool noodle and a spare metal hanger. Now, the kind of hangers that you tend to get in cheap clothing, and most of us have a couple of these rattling around in their wardrobes, although you can buy them relatively inexpensively for boxes of 50 or even 100 from places like eBay. Now to build this thing is relatively straightforward. All you have to do is get yourself a piece of the pool noodle and find one of those coat hangers that you don't need anymore. Do make sure that it's the kind of pool noodle that has the hole in the middle because we're going to cut off a piece and that's going to be the support that's actually gonna hold the plane in place. Using your hands, just bend the coat hanger down so that it goes into a horseshoe or wishbone shape because these two drooping pieces we're going to bend around something in a minute to create the hooks that are actually going to go around the parts of the plane. Now you can bend it around something, you can bend it over something. I'm just using a roller here from the kitchen and all you're trying to do is bend it so that it is about the same size or potentially a little bit smaller than the actual pool noodle itself. And take your time with this. Uh, these hangers are very, very pliable and you just wanna make sure that they're about the same height and that when you put the foam in them, they're a reasonably snug fit. If you wanted to mount a plane with a much deeper fuselage, then you could actually bend it to clear the back of the fuselage or the rear landing gear, or you could even clip the middle central piece if you wanted to have two very long legs with those things at the end. Once you've got that done, then just cut yourself off uh, using a kitchen knife, a piece of the pool noodle, usually about three or four inches in length is fine. Then cut it down the middle to make two U-shaped pieces that will fit in the brackets. And that's what the plane's actually gonna sit on, which means it doesn't get marked at all then by the actual wire itself. You can then hold it in place with a couple of beads of hot glue or even put some tape over the hole of the back to stop the foam popping out when you remove the plane. Doing it this way means you can pretty much hang it on anything in your garage or wherever you're using to store the models. And you could very easily mount some PVC piping to the wall and then hang everything off. The other thing that pool noodles are quite handy for is actually hot gluing them to the wall where you're going to be hanging the planes and that way the backs of them don't get damaged either. So hopefully that's an interesting little tip. It's a very cheap and cheerful way to give yourself a little bit more room wherever you're storing your planes before you go and fly and to get them off the floor so they don't get damaged accidentally. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video and particularly for watching right to the very end. We try and release a video on Tuesday and Friday and sometimes we'll release one or two extra ones in a week as well. All of the videos on the channel are organised into easy to use playlists so do have a look in there because if you're interested in a subject we organise all the videos on that subject so you can find them easily all together in one place. If you like what we're doing, then please like and subscribe and tell others about the channel so they can come and join as well. We're available in all of the usual social media places, particularly in places like Instagram, Twitter, and we also share all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse.